Hello friends, look what I have. This is a special delivery from Eric Weathers, I believe. And I'm gonna start opening it now. I realize I got another book. I got the Kryptonals not that long ago. It was a few weeks, two weeks ago, something like that. I didn't do an unboxing video, even though I had every intention to. But here we are, first impressions. Let's get rid of this. Um, what did I get here? I got this particular package. <laughs> I forgot what I backed, but Ash Can. Uh, oh, this is the, the declassified book. This is the actual story book, main comic book. And we'll look into that as well. I went ahead and got the Eric Weathers cover. I think because two reasons. One, it's Eric. I mean, come on. Uh, so that's one reason. Two reasons. Ooh, nice touch with the sticker. Very good. Um, the Rockerford cover was not out when I backed this. Um, so having said that, even if it was, I think I still would have got the Eric cover because it's Eric. I mean, come on. Uh, spot gloss, nice touch. Look at that. I love how that turned out. Really cool. Look at the print quality here i actually have looked at this uh the print files quite a bit uh because i got to read the whole thing before it went to print so that was fun um seeing it in print though is fantastic colors turned out really nice uh one thing i always look at is like the blacks can you see that like do they look crispy or are they pixely these are super crisp I don't know if you can see that. That's super crisp. So that turned out nice. Colors don't look too dark, which is also nice. A good colorist can avoid too dark of colors, but those are some problems that you see sometimes in printing. Uh, not problems here. So there, right here, this is the Roca Ford cover. Slightly decolorized around the edges. Pretty cool effect. I don't want to spoil anything, but... That's a cool page. <laughs> Lots of cool ones. Anyway, Battle Brick Road, congratulations. Eric, I know that was a that's gotta be a relief. <laughs> Every time you get a you get a book shipped, feels good. Finished, printed, shipped. Fantastic. This is the Operation Zephyr declassified. It looks like they made it look like this is sort of worn out. Uh it's been folded in fourths. I always wonder too on the back cover. Yeah, just a, just an image there. I write a back of the cover blurb, and I realize a lot of comic book people, especially in crowdfunded books, they don't do that. They put anything but, and it's like I guess you don't really need one. But the the chances of someone just pulling it off of a bookshelf are pretty low. Uh, chances are they know what it is uh, before they get to it. But this is pretty cool. I think I saw some of these files. This is my first recollection of Eric, actually. I saw this on the IndieCron website, and I was like, that looks cool. It looks super professional. And then I had Eric on my channel because we were going to promote some anthology. Honestly, I don't remember what it was, but it was an anthology he was lettering on, he was working with. And that was our first time ever streaming together. And I guess the rest is history, obviously. Eric and I stream a lot. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, pretty cool. This is uh, line art. And I don't know, were these were these the initial run or something? It looked a little different there. Good stuff. Some of the logo things. All this behind-the-scenes stuff. Kind of fun uh, to see the bullets are a nice touch character designs i told him the tin man i know people love scarecrow but i think tin man is actually my favorite character design of them all so i'm looking forward to him hopefully in the next book that's epic is that cody barton clayton barton fantastic holy cow good stuff last but not least i'm gonna open this one up oh here's where you get the extras and this is always something uh, that you talk about a lot. I decided for Dracula, I'm actually going to chill out. At first I was thinking, hey, let's do tons of, like you can buy this extra swag pack with extra stuff. But um, in this case, I actually decided, no, make it simple. 
Uh, I'll have add-on, or I'll, well, I'll have some add-ons, but I'm going to have some stretch goals, obviously, and some extras everyone can get. But as far as, like, the campaign itself, uh, like, tiers-wise, I'm going to make it pretty darn simple. Very cool is that Fraga, Dan Fraga. There's the Kenneth Rockford. That is uh, Corey Barton. Uh, who did this? Who did it? The Witcher. I mean, artwork by... Oh, Eric Kennedy. That's Eric Kennedy. Wow, very nice. Sorry if I, if I glossed over these beautiful stuff. Man, any one of those could be a cover. Sticker. Holographic sticker. That's pretty cool. That is Toto from the book. Uh, I got a pouch. I might end up putting this on a bag or something. I could make that happen. Pretty cool. Bookmark. I I like having bookmarks. I don't like having hundreds of bookmarks of my own, you know, bookmark. Uh, that's not fun. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, so I actually have a lot of leftover bookmarks. I try to hand them out when people order stuff on the website, but I'm thinking about just giving them all to a library or a school or something. Uh, but having a different bookmark from different campaigns, I actually like this because bookmarks are super useful. So I know they're not everyone's favorite, but to me, I, I actually really like the bookmarks. I uh, have not got tired of them yet. And it's okay if they get worn out and you throw them away. You know, it's not like a collector's item to me. Poster of the cover. Pretty cool. I always, you know, when the when the covers are appropriate like this for kids, I I ask my kids who wants it up on their wall. And sometimes they want it up, sometimes they don't want it up. And I'm, usually it's my son that wants anything that is battle related and army related on his walls. And my daughters will want anything with a girl. And this is both. So this might cause some fights. We will see. Anyway, congrats, Eric, to getting the book out. Looks fantastic. I am going to read this again now that I have it in print. Uh, and I can already tell you now, guys, this is a solid book. If you haven't picked up Battle Brick Road, do it now. I don't know how much longer the campaign's going to be open. My understanding is it's not going to be a lot longer. Uh, so pick it up. It's shipping right now. And yeah, you're going to enjoy it. Seriously, great book. I'm not just saying that because it's Eric and he's my pal. It's, it really is a solid book. Great story. Fantastic art. Uh, yeah, out of the park. Awesome. See you all in the next video.